Good morning, everyone. May God's grace and peace be with each of you this morning. Jesus, our example. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John 1, 14. Jesus is called the Son of God. He accepted his Father's law, wrought out its principles in his life, manifested its spirit, and showed its beneficent power in the heart. Says John, the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. All that man needs to know or can know of God has been revealed in the life and character of his Son. Taking humanity upon him, Christ came to be one with humanity and at the same time to reveal our Heavenly Father to sinful human beings. He was in all things made like unto his brethren. He became flesh as we are. He was hungry and thirsty and weary. He was sustained by food and refreshed by sleep. He shared the lot of men, and yet he was the blameless Son of God. Tender, compassionate, sympathetic, ever considerate of others, he represented the character of God and was constantly engaged in service for God and man. The followers of Christ must be partakers of his experience. They must assimilate the word of God. They must be changed into its likeness by the power of Christ and reflect the divine attributes. The spirit and work of Christ must become the spirit and work of his disciples. In the study of the Bible, the converted soul eats the flesh and drinks the blood of the Son of God, which he himself interprets as the receiving and doing of his words that are spirit and life. The Word is made flesh and dwells among us, and those who receive the holy precepts of the Word of God. The Savior of the world has left a holy, pure example for all men. It illuminates, uplifts, and brings immortality to all who obey the divine requirements. May God bless you today, and I will see you again tomorrow.